Well, it's pretty disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately happening, happening every night. Um, this is just mindless violence and um, Michael, where are you? You know, Michael? anyone who uh, Michael? who defends the violence is enabling this to continue, so that's unfortunate, but it's, it's you know, it's a mess. What do you think is going what, to, what's it going to take to turn the tide here? Yeah, so what I think it's going to take, this, this has to be a community solution. Uh, it's not a law enforcement solution. We're, we're responding, dealing with it, protecting this property, just like the city police are, you know, protecting city property. But any real solution to stop the mindless violence that goes on um, has to come from the community, and I include, uh, you know, uh, various community leaders, uh, faith leaders, um, business leaders, um, working with whoever wants to join in a, a coalition, um, uh, whatever you want to call that, the coalition of the willing, whatever. It takes a village. Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm not going down that <laughs> no. road. No, it takes some leadership, okay. which um, is uh, missing okay. right now. So it, it, it but to, to change this, because otherwise this activity is just, you know, it's hijacking the moment in history, right? Um, um, there are opportunities following the murder of George Floyd and, and the thousands and thousands of lawful protesters and, and groups calling for change, which everyone can agree there's um, change needed. So, so this is one of those moments in history where it can occur, but it's being held back by this. This is just mindless violence, and it's been politicized. And in my view, that's what enables this to continue because no one in their right mind thinks this is this is okay. Some, some uh, so, say what's politicized this though is the federal agents being here. Since I yeah, the federal Trump. agents being here are protecting federal property. Um, that is not accurate. Blaming federal agents for for protecting federal property um, is is an easy out uh, for people who want to politicize this. But are they protecting federal property when they're out on the streets? They're not out on the streets, there, okay? They were last night. They were out on the streets. There's video of them outside of the fence. Okay, In previous so, nights, we've seen them out on the streets. Okay, so uh, we can review what, it, why, what took them out there. But again, this is such an easy political out for people who want to politicize what's going on. Do you what, think Trump is politicizing this? Uh, the politicizing of what the violence is, is what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not going to get into a debate. I don't walk in that lane. I, I walk in the law enforcement lane. This, look around. I mean, do you think it's okay? Is there any justification for this? I hope not. I mean, Portland is losing its soul right now. And, 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 you know, what's coming out of City Hall calling cops liars, uh, th that they're the ones of, of starting the fires and then blaming protesters. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Um, that's not leadership. So what I will tell you is um, this needs to stop. People lawfully protesting need to be able to do it safely and, and work together for the changes they're asking for in, in a, Democratic, uh, uh, following democracy um, and and legislative changes, policy changes, whatever, but but this isn't accomplishing anything. How long can how long can last night or the last fifty days? How long can the status quo go on? Well, you know that's a great question. Is is this a, for a, for a for a city? Um, who likes to have a reputation as an, an environmentally sound? Uh, 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 does this help? Uh, yesterday morning, there were hundreds of, of 
plastic bottles out here how does that help the climate the environment so how long this goes on you have to ask the community how long they're willing to tolerate this mindless violence because this doesn't promote the cause of protesters it just destroys property and so but to answer your question if there are allegations of misconduct there there are investigations going on right now it's a process there's accountability in every agency that's why you have these measures that you go through when you do an investigation so if you've got an allegation that that needs to be reviewed and looked at it's a process it's called that the criminal justice system and the administrative side of of an agency review every agency has it every agency goes through it whether it's state local or federal so let's ask you who had the drone up last night I have no idea was it I have no idea okay yeah I didn't news to me there was a drone up last night but I'm not surprised or well I I thought there was a no-fly drone zone that's why I was surprised yeah I don't know wondering if it was one of the federal police agencies I have no idea you're telling me something I I don't know about this morning so you were talking about specific change of leadership can you get more specific at his exactly you were talking about specific change in leadership up at City Hall I didn't talk about a change in leadership what 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 I talked about is there needs to be leadership so who do you want to show leadership no that's up to to voters in the in the city of Portland what I'm saying is you you just if if you don't help direct this in a different direction you're enabling violence that's what I'm telling you so when the mayor came down the other night and talked to protesters that that was enabling it or was he helping to quell it you know the mayor is the mayor of Portland he he can come down and talk to whomever he wants to um you know mayor Wheeler has has tried to address the difference between protesters and violence so so the fact that mayor Wheeler came down here to engage and answer questions um you know that's that's his choice to do that it's not a criticism and and the fact that people turned violent and were yelling terrible things at him you know that that doesn't help the city or 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 in this this just shows you the 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 mindless mindless violence people are willing to engage in this isn't you know so that's mayor Wheeler or any anybody else gets to come down and speak at at a lawful protest and no one on this side of the fence wants to interfere with that but this is nonsense let me ask you though because after he was tear gassed as we all know and he while he was here fires were set um fireworks were thrown over this barricade yet he said he saw nothing that he thought demanded the kind of response that federal agencies gave him well i disagree with that um federal agents are are protecting this property they they are following a training and protocols of of when to to um and how to respond and so i i don't agree with that but but i'm not criticizing the mayor for coming down and speaking he has the right to do that so if we're going back to how you were talking about this is shadowing the overall message about black lives matter right you feel like the late night demonstrations are taking away from the fight for racial justice is these aren't late night demonstrations this is criminal activity okay. there's a difference okay. what what you have failed in the media have failed to distinguish between you seem unwilling to call um, um, people engaged in criminal conduct as criminals as opposed to lawful protesting well some may argue that the way the federal agents are acting is criminal yeah, too, and well, we're not saying that argue away on that but we're not saying either so well um so so i'm just saying there there needs to be a distinction made between lawful constitutionally protected protest and this this is unlawful okay so and 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 people whether you're you're an opportunist an antagonist an agitator 
or an anarchist. Um, call it out for what it is. So you're saying the late night activity that is criminal. What I'm telling you is you yes. seem to refuse to call something late night activity. This is criminal. I, I just said the late night activity that you say is criminal, right? That's what I'm it. saying is yeah. why can't you call it out as such? Because I'm not. You're using all the late records. night late night activity. It sounds like a party. It's criminal. Look look at the the breed. Um, um, we have we haven't had a a front door since July 3rd. Uh, that's criminal. Okay, so. But I, I'm just saying I'm not a police officer. I don't get to distinguish that. That's not no, my job. No, but but you can call it out for what it is. You're choosing terms that 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 sort of downplay the criminal activity. And what I'm suggesting is, if there is an honest accounting of, of what this is, that helps build a, 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 the reality check for how this can stop. That's my point. Just, so just one, just I got to go in and go um, to work. So I've seen the bags of waste and stuff that have been thrown, yeah. you know, and all the, the stuff that has been lit on fire, the bricks and such. How's the morale yes, of the officers building, trying to protect this building? Are they, well, you know, I, 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 you, you'll have to speak to the officers who are out here on a nightly basis.